Welcome everyone. The first step to create a personal voice is we're going to open up the settings. And from here, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see accessibility. You are then going to scroll down again. And what you're looking for is the personal voice. From here, we're going to select create a personal voice. And very quickly, if you don't see this option, your iPhone model is not supported, unfortunately. So if we have a supported model, let's create our personal voice. It will ask for your passcode and you can see this will take about 15 minutes. So let's tap on continue, continue again, and then continue again. And so you tap this one and then you wait for it to listen. And I'm going to cut. So once this is done, if you are going through and like me, you're not perfect. So let's say I'm listening here. I'm like saying stuff and I screw up. Just tap on the pause and then the repeat. And then you can just try again. Make sure you are doing this properly. So we'll go like that, repeat. And you can always go back and redo the previous one as well. If I tap on done, I'm going to tap on done. In the personal voices area, you can see you can always come back and finish the recordings you haven't done. So we'll go into here and then we'll select continue recording. And then it just wants to check the sound quality again. And then we can go back in and we can resume where we left off. So keep that one in mind. And there we go. We've done the phrases. This takes absolutely ages. Very random phrases you have to say. But you're going to see here you're done recording. So let's select continue. And you can see this one. So turn on notifications for the personal voice. So it will let you know. You can see here charge and lock iPhone to prepare. And so you can see this process may need to keep overnight. And you will get a notification when the personal voice is ready. And the personal voice will only be generated if your iPhone is locked and charging. So let's tap on OK here. And you can see charge iPhone to continue. So just lock your iPhone, charge it, leave it overnight, and let's go back to the morning and let's take a look at the personal voice which was created. Once the personal voice is created, you should see here, no generating sign, you should be good to go. And once you have done that, let's head to the home page of settings. And then we're going to go back into the accessibility. And then we're going to scroll down until we see live speech. Turn on the live speech here. And then under voices, tap on voices. And then tap on your personal voice at the top. And then tap on your personal voice one more time. So we're going to triple click the side button or we'll triple click the home button if we have a home button. And then you can type your phrase to speak. And once you've typed what you want to be spoken out, just tap on the send button. Hello, please leave a like on this video and subscribe if I helped you out getting personal voice to work. So it sounds a little bit robotic, but it kind of sounds like you at the, uh, the exact same time. If you want favorite phrases, tap on the uh, uh, phrases button and then tap into the favorite phrases and then create a new favorite phrase. And then when you triple click, you can tap the phrases button and just choose a favorite phrase, which you may be using commonly. At the time of recording, you can't switch the Siri voice to the personal voice. If this changes in the future, just go into the Siri voice settings and there should be at the top the personal voice option, but that is not available at the time of recording. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.